So I think actually a nice analogy is to Legos or Tinker Toys. So I've actually constructed this battleship in Lego box. And at some point I decide that I wanna make something else besides that ba battleship. So I, I take all the bricks that were part of the battleship and I disassemble them and then I put them in a different order and I make uh, a different kind of thing. I make, let's say the Tower of London or the Eiffel Tower. Um, so it's the same building blocks as I use to make the, the battleship, but I put it, I, I construct them in such a different way that you can't tell from the Tower of London or the Eiffel Tower that I built with a second set of Lego blocks. I can't, you can't tell that that once was a battleship. Okay. So that's a, I think, um, a very concrete metaphor that people can use to understand that the, the process of, um, of tokenizing as the terminology is in the generative AI space is basically really taking each word or sometimes segments of words and essentially assigning a number to them and then looking for um, essentially, here's all the ones that basically kind of like our colors. And here are the ones that are about um, animals. And these are the ones that are about, um, about philosophy um, or about historical figures, right? The, the data basically is in a certain form in the in copyright works that are part of the training data. But the model uh, does not embody the training data in a recognizable way. And, you know, it's a little hard to put your hand or head around that kind of because it's just not the way that we think about um, the component elements of copyright works. But uh, computer engineers basically they think of, of in copyright works as bags of words. And they don't think about it in terms of sort of the expressive elements that you and I enjoy whenever we pick up um, a novel or another well-written type of situation, type, type of work. Uh, and so, you know, for them, this is just like, of course, we're not using the expression. Why, you know, why, why should copyright people be interested in this at all? Um, so I've, you know, I've given quite a few talks to, uh, to computer scientists uh, about these issues um, recently, and they're just like baffled um, uh, about, you know, it's like we're doing like really important science, okay? This is like really, really innovative and really creative. And we're doing something that actually is beneficial for humanity. And why are you giving me so much grief? Um, is kind of the way that some of them think.